You're joking, aren't you? It's the Teesside Chef. Sumptuous raspberry sorbet recipe coming up, and uh, didn't Prince sing a song about raspberry sorbet? I'm sure he did. You know, Prince, little American fella, wispy moustache, disappeared up his own arse and then died of an accidental fentanyl overdose. Yeah, you remember Prince. He liked the colour purple. Not the groundbreaking drama with Oprah Winfrey, just the colour purple. Good tune, that raspberry sorbet, like. Anyway, I blitzed a kilo of frozen and then thawed raspberries up, and uh, now I'm putting them in a pan, and I'm going to bring it to a simmer for a bit, so I can dissolve 125 grams of sugar in there, and also melt 50 grams of golden syrup. This golden syrup will help give the sorbet a creamier mouthfeel, as the invert sugar prevents ice crystals from forming, and uh, if you don't have golden syrup, or any other invert sugar, just add an extra 25 grams of sugar instead, and we'll say no more about it. I also added an optional tablespoon or two of lemon juice to heighten the flavour there, and I'm just cooking this now until the sugar is dissolved. I don't need to cook it to death or boil it, but this step will give us a more rounded flavour to the finished sorbet. And of course, we have to take out the seeds now, because raspberry seeds absolutely wreck my head, and they're everywhere. So a fine sieve is definitely required. This will take a bit of time, but I absolutely recommend that you do it, and as the mix is a little warm, that should facilitate an easier transition to a super smooth and sweetened raspberry sauce type juice type concoction. And even though this is still a little warm, I'm still going to fire it directly into my ice cream maker now. But if you don't have a fancy ice cream maker, you can pour the mix into an airtight box and place it straight in the freezer. Just make sure you stir it well every 45 minutes or so so it doesn't get an icy texture. And there is no set time for this to be in the ice cream maker. Just leave it in until it's a very, very firm texture. And by that, I mean not quite like this here, but more like this here. And I do have to give you a few more storage tips now, so don't be running off yet. So the sorbet will need storing in an airtight container like this. Spoon it all in and flatten it out a little. Place some cling film on top to prevent the sorbet from icing up on top. And then press the cling film directly onto the sorbet with your hands or the back of a spoon, and then freeze that for around four hours until it's firm, and then you can party like it's 1999 with my slightly outdated and cheesy raspberry sorbet dessert presentation. I have it in a chocolate bowl here, link coming up for them. Raspberry sorbet, and not the kind you find in a second-hand store either. Thanks for watching, everyone. Terra. Raspberry sorbet. <laughs>